Hello and welcome everybody back to the channel again. This is Thomas from Lucky Gaming, bringing you more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Last time we explored Jubilife City and headed east over to Orberg City, where we arrived, learned that the gym leader is not currently at the gym, and we need to go find him. Now, I would like to open up this episode by exploring the city. I know, at least in Platinum, there are a few things we can grab here that are worth grabbing, but I honestly don't remember where they are. I believe they're on the top floors. Giving nicknames can be fun, I agree. Alright, talk to this lady in the first house on the left. She will give you a free dusk ball that I think gives like three times the catch rate at night or in caves. Definitely worth. Then I know in this house there is something on the second floor. Uh, it'll be this guy. Showing me a Pokemon called Zubat. Seems pretty easy enough. We have not yet caught a Zubat. And that kind of brings me to a point that I would like to talk about in this video. I am not going to be tackling the gym in this episode, but I'm hoping I have enough time to get some of the encounters that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, as we have arrived at Orberg City, we are now able to buy netballs. This increases the catch rate on bug type and water type Pokemon. I'll not be buying any as they are quite a steep price for the amount of money I currently have. Um, if we go over to the right, and down here, I believe there's something we're able to get in this house. Remind me so much of when I got my first Pokemon. Why not train the Orberg Mine? But like I was saying, we are missing some Pokemon that we are able to catch. Talk to this kid, and we are able to get a Great Ball. This is basically just a stronger Pokeball, and that's about it. As you can see on the right, I have a section called Trainer Card Stars. I think I'm going to take some time to go ahead and explain some of the reason for my overlay. Now, there are five goals that I want to achieve in this playthrough. Hall of Fame, Contest Master, National Dex, 100 Win Streak, and Underground Statues. National Dex is something that we are going to be actively tackling. And I'm going to attack that as in I want to get the regional Dex done first, but we are going to complete the National Dex in this playthrough. And the counter to the right or below, I don't exactly know where this is going to be yet. I am recording a little bit of in advance. I'm going to keep a counter of how many Pokemon we have until a number is achieved. I think it's 493 Pokemon, including the Mythicals, but I know that um, we don't need all the Mythicals. And I know you can get all the Pokemon between Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, so I won't need the trade, I won't need multiple games outside of BDSP. And luckily I do have some friends playing Shining Pearl to help me get some of the encounters I do not have. We are able to catch a Zubat on the route, nor on the route north of Orberg City. Uh, Doofus, Janus, and Greta all level up with Doofus learning Rollout. Greta might le learn a move here. No, it just learned Rock Polish. I doubt it. Zubat's data will be added to the Pokedex, and I am going to come up with a nickname for this. We're going to go ahead and name the Zubat Kiki. I don't know why, that's just what came to my name. It came to my head. Um, there are a few more encounters we want to get on this route. We are able to find Geodude here, but this is not what I'm 100% looking for. There are actually three more encounters on this route that I want to get before... 
I continue on. So, I might do cuts until I find each of those. Um, I might actually battle some of the Pokemon that I find. Um, and I may end up throwing 9 in the box if 9 gets too overleveled. So, yeah, I will um, see you when I find all these mods. Alright, we have found some of the encounters I've actually mistaken. Uh, there is only three encounters total on this route that we don't have, and Zubat was one of those. So, Machop is the second of the three mods that we needed to find. And there we go. There's Machop. Alright, we have Thumper. <laughs> Don't ask me about these nicknames. Alright, we have one more Mon. I might have to go to a different one to get it. Finally! Oh my god! I think that took about 10 minutes to find. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of level ups because I, I determined I didn't want to have, didn't want to just have a bunch of boosted XP. So, no real massive level ups. I know Greta leveled up a time or two. And, uh, overall I think everybody stayed about the same. Alrighty, got crickets out to low enough health. We're gonna go ahead and throw another ball at this. Alrighty, now that was nice and easy. Right, we got Wendy the Cricketot. Honestly, I think I'm gonna add this to my party, and I think I might get rid of nine. And my reason for putting nine in the box is because nine's going to be used a lot in the gym. So, I'm thinking it might be best for me to use nine later on and not over level it. We come in here, do you give us anything? We're not going to go into the mine just yet. Actually, looking at our mons, we are going to put... I think we're going to put Janus up front, because I want to get a focus of XP driving towards Janus. I think, yes, this guy gives us a super potion. Go ahead and go over to the other side of the mine. Where I know he doesn't give us anything. But if you... There's only one hidden item here in this game? Oh my god, in Platinum there's like four. Oh man. We get a Stardust. No, in Platinum you're able to get a couple shards. Uh, to the south is the mine, but I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit in the, the sake of working on our decks a little bit. Back on Route 203, there is still one mine that we have not gotten, and I am very interested in trying to find this. Aha! We have found it! We have encountered an Abra. Now, one thing I will note about the Abra in these 
games is that they, I think, only have teleport. So I'm going to use the dust ball that we got to try and catch this Abra for the highest chance of catching it at full health. Like that. There we go. And we have caught all the mons that we could have caught up to this point. Well, we could have gone north of Jubilee City, which we chose not to do. Sparky wants to learn Bite. It could be a very helpful move. Um... I have other Pokemon that can use Tackle. I don't think Hippie learns a move at, uh, level 12. Not going to complain at all, and I do have an idea of a name for this, and it definitely works that it is a male. Houdini will be sent to the box. That's a twisted spoon? Based off what I'm finding, that is a 5% chance. We'll take that. abso freaking lootly Way to go, this Abra's a beast! Alright, I'll meet you back in Orberg City. Back in Orberg City, we are now going to go to the mine. I do think I'm going to leave the boy, or the woman, Janice, up front. I think the more XP I can give Janice, the better. The Pokemon looked like they were just rocks. They surprised me. We may be subject to battles. Now, I don't have a problem with battling. But one thing I've noticed about the team that we have right now is we do not have a lot of that's good against ground types. So we may need to be a little bit careful. I do believe there is a new encounter here. Yes, there is one new encounter down here, which is Onyx. So we are going to try and get that, of course. Now, because a lot of these guys down here, I'm pretty sure a lot of them use Machop. So we may be seeing a lot of Starly in this episode. Opens up with a Geodude. What level? Level 7. Not too bad. Um, I think Sparky might be our best bet against a Geodude. It'd be nice if Greta would learn a move that would be beneficial. Because the most that this thing's gonna have is, um... What's it called? Tackle. So... Hopefully, Bite proves successful. Janice and Wendy both will get a level up. Send out Onyx! Okay, so this is a trainer of interest. If you are not going to catch Onyx here, uh, this trainer has one. So, could be a trainer of note. I'm pretty sure somebody in the gym also uses Onyx, so... No matter what, you're going to encounter it somehow. We're getting very lucky with these flinches on Bite. I should have switched back to... 
um, Magikarp for Janice, but I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. And there we go, we take down Onyx. Doofus and Greta both level up to level 10. Greta wants to learn to roll out. You know, I don't think I'm going to ever use Defense Curl. I think I'd be more likely to use Rock Polish. We defeated Worker Column. Alrighty. Oh my god, we found an Onyx already. Now that is what I call luck. Onyx is a 10% encounter here, so... It's actually very, very lucky. We'll go and try just throwing a Pokeball at it. I'm hoping that this just works. Damn. Okay. Um, Rock Polish. Right, we'll go ahead and switch. I think Sparky's our best bet here. I'm gonna go ahead and use Intimidate. Another Rock Polish. I think this gives him plus four speed? Rock Throw. Oh, thank god that did nothing. Smackdown. That's a cool battle effect or move animation. You know what, let's try a Premier Ball and see if this works. Booyah! Alrighty, and we have caught Onyx. Wendy gets up to level 8. Onyx's data will be added to the Pokedex. And yes, we are going to give Onyx a nickname. Alright, we have Veronica the Onyx. Hell yeah. Alrighty, well, I guess we don't need to catch anything else down here. We'll go ahead and speak to Rourke, who is right here. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, and get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they're out of the way. If you can get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to be the gym leader first. That'd be me. Alrighty! Oh, sh... Alrighty, as I was saying, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our way out of here. Um, I'm not gonna... Went ahead and knocked out a Zubat that was an encounter, and... I went ahead and... Uh, just... Wendy leveled up to level 9. That's all that needed to be said. Um, there should be two more battles down here. Um, I'm not gonna show them to you unless there's a trainer of interest. Following this battle, we see level ups from Janice, Greta, and Sparky. Oh, this guy doesn't battle you? Oh, well, okay. We are going to just make our way out of the mine, then. I will note, you are able to encounter Pokemon in this room that I'm standing in now. It's the same encounter rate as the room that's further down, but just in case you'd want to grind there instead of somewhere else, you can. Now, there isn't much more I really want to do outside of Battle the Gym, but I'm not going to do that in this video. I do, however, want 
to show off something. And I think I am going to do that on the route up here. Right, Wendy grew up to level 10. I went ahead and battled two Pokemon. And we are about to see something that was the reason why I wanted to come up here. What? Wendy is evolving. Wendy has evolved into Cricketune. Cricketune's data will be added to the Pokedex. And Wendy has learned Fury Cutter. I wanted to come up here simply because I knew Cricketot evolves at level 10. We're going to show off our first instance of evolution right before the first gym. With that now being said, I think I am going to throw Wendy back in the box, but I think I'm going to move her to the front because she's a Pokemon I don't have to worry about for quite a while. Alrighty, I think it's about time to end off the episode. I've done everything I wanted to do. My main things were I wanted to explore Orberg, check out the mine, and then catch all the mons in the deck. And catch all the mons in the decks that we didn't have. So, we went ahead. We went ahead. What did we get? We caught Cricketot and Cricketune. Abra. Uh, Onyx, and I believe Machop, yeah, that is everything we got in this video. And in the next video, we are going to go ahead and tackle the gym, as well as have a little bit of fun in the multiplayer. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. This has been Thomas from Unlucky Gaming, bringing you more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and next time... I'm not used to doing these outros for this game, at least. I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And I think that's all I have to say. Um, check out my thumbnail artist uh, in the description below. He's the one who's helping me do the artwork that you see on screen with the sidebars and all that stuff. My thumbnails and everything look all nice and pretty. Uh, go ahead and show him some support. I would greatly appreciate it. With all that being said, thank you all for watching. Peace.